Duplicate data in large lists is a real problem, and it's become an increasingly larger problem, and Microsoft has recognized that because as of Excel 2007, there's a new command on the data tab called Remove Duplicates. And as we start to look at this list, imagine this was sent to you, I think you'd see pretty quickly what's happening in row four and row five. Well, two people with the same name, I guess. Well, wait a minute, same building, same department, and wait a minute here, same social security number, and everything else is the same. Well, obviously, this is a duplicate. This command works beautifully. We could get rid of them. Let's say that's not really the issue here. What we really want to do, though, is identify who or which records were duplicated. So let's put a new column into the left of column A. Simply right-click and insert. When you need to identify which records were duplicated, and you can make the column a bit wider too. In English, what we're about to do is to put in a little test here that says, in effect, if this is equal to this, and this is equal to this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and rather than doing all the other columns, let's just say if these four entries were exactly the same, we've got a duplicate. And let's just start at the top here. Now, you could imagine how this if statement might really play out if we do it in the standard kind of way. It's going to take us a long time. But there is something called an array formula, and it's a power tool for sure. Kind of hard to explain except by example. I'm going to start with an if here. And rather than focusing on B2 and B3 and then C2 and C3 and so on and so on and so on, I'm going to highlight B2 all the way through E2 and then type equal and then B3 through E3. Now, that looks unorthodox, and it certainly is. But what I'm saying in English is if B2 is equal to B3, and C2 is equal to C3, and D3, and so on, and so on, and so on, if that's the case, then what do we have here? I want to see the word duplicate, or dupe, or whatever, however you want to say it. Duplicate, okay? And if not, it's unique. And that, too, should be preceded by and embedded in double quotes. What I did there is I pressed enter. An array formula, and it really sounds like I'm making this up, an array formula is a special kind of formula, and you must complete the entry by pressing control shift enter. And there's an answer, and it is unique. I'm gonna double click to copy this down the column. Well, that's a duplicate, we see that. And we'll find some others in here as well. And there's another one, and so on. And if we would like to see all these together, give this a temporary heading, QQ, WW, anything you want. So we've got a heading up there. Click anywhere in this data, apply the filter, click the drop arrow here. Let's just look at the duplicates, for example. And there they are. We could copy paste that somewhere. We wouldn't have to worry about copying the data in the hidden rows because it's in a filter and so on. So when you need to identify which records are duplicated, this particular kind of an array formula, which looks a little weird at first, there it is, will do the job. Now you'll notice something else here too. When I escape, or had I just pressed Control shift enter look in the formula bar. Array formulas are embedded in what we sometimes call curly braces, but you don't type them. Again, sounding a little strange here. But when you press Control shift enter it's as if you're sending a signal to Excel to process this data in sort of parallel fashion, I guess might be one way to say it. For example, in this cell, check B4 and B5, and then C4 and C5, and so on. So at some point here, maybe we bring back the data. We could just turn off the filter for the moment. They're back and decide what we want to do with this. But we have identified which records are duplicated. Remember, if the focus is strictly to get rid of them, fine. We don't have to do this at all. We'll simply use the command called remove duplicates. But when we need to identify them, we need an array formula like the one we see here.